Weekly Spooky Ghouls and Goblins. Welcome back or welcome to my channel if you're a newcomer. Hi, hello. My name is Naomi and I am so excited to get into this video. We're going to be doing another Poshmark unboxing. This one is going to be themed for Lindy Bop items. Um, I'm kind of new to the brand. I want to take a second to say that my dog Bucky is right here. Uh, here's his little nose. He just wants to have his head at my knee and on my knee. Um, he is here, so if you see a little ear or something pop up, that's just him. Also, if you hear any back and around noise, that's my fiance, Kevin, gaming. He usually games while I film. We have our own things that we do. Um, so if you hear any mumbling or talking in the background, that's just him filming in our room. Um, we try to put up as much soundproofing as possible. Um, but sometimes there's only so much you can do when you live in an apartment and you can't actually screw in soundproofing in the rooms that he's gaming in um, or that I might be filming in. Um, we rent, I film in my living room and try and step outside or inside when it's snowing outside because I live in the Northwest uh, and it gets really really cold in the winter um, so today I wanted to get into this Lindy Bop haul there's only two items I believe in this box um, this is not the box that I was sent um, I love to buy items from Poshmark um, reuse reduce recycle um, so what I usually do is when I collect a certain brand item um, if I already have a box going or if I don't I will try and collect these items in a box as much as possible because I do buy a lot um, and dedicate it to a haul so I can eventually put it in my closet but there's one of these items that I really want to go in my closet soon because it is summertime um, so we're doing this haul even though there's only two items um, so if you don't know what Poshmark is, um, Poshmark is a selling app, but kind of like Facebook Marketplace, except it's dedicated specifically to people selling used and new items so they can get it out of their house. But I particularly like selling on Poshmark because I get a lot of clothes and it's a really good way to kind of Marie Kondo my closet when I want to make a little bit of, of that money back from what I sold. and. You can see I buy stuff on Poshmark too. So, <laughs> it's fucky. Um, what I tend to do is sell something on Poshmark and then I use that credit to buy more stuff on Poshmark. <laughs> um, so that I have another video. So it's kind of a cycle of life when it comes to my fashion. Um, but I try to get as much out of my closet as I can. Uh, I still have way too many clothes. But if I decide I don't really love something at the end of the season, I will go ahead and list the items up. Um, so if you want, go ahead and take a look at my Poshmark down below. If you aren't on Poshmark yet, I don't get paid for those technically. Um, but I do have a $10 off your first order code if you aren't signed up yet. So you can sign up with my code down below. Uh, I do have a link. But let's go ahead and jump in here. I love to buy items on Poshmark because it is reducing waste overall so I'm not buying directly from a mass manufacturing company or a larger company overall and the product is then going to have a longer life going from one closet to the next essentially especially when we live in a world where people kind of people just kind of wear it a couple times and then decide they don't like it anymore um hopefully those people are donating those items which is usually what I do I donate or I list it on Poshmark and sell it so jumping in, um, usually what I do with the Poshmark hauls is I try to support the closet that I purchased the item from. So if it is a closet that I have good experience with and I do recommend, I'm going to go ahead and put down below the name of the item, the size of the item that I purchased, um, and the name of the seller as well as a link to their closet. So if you are interested in checking out their closet, it will be linked down below and I hope you check them out. Also, um, you can also look up similar items to here if it's something you like. So I'm going to go ahead and jump in to the first item, which is a dress. Um, the item that I really want to get into is next, so stay tuned. But this is the first item. Um, again, there's only two. Uh, this dress, I kind of refer to the Alice in Wonderland dress, and I probably will use it for an Alice in Wonderland cosplay, because I looked at this dress and it looked 
just like it. Um, I believe this is called a cornflower um, or a periwinkle blue. I'm not sure the exact name of it. Um, I don't absolutely love this back tie. I didn't realize this was here to be honest. Um, I may take it off. I may leave it. I'm not sure. It's just to help secure it from the back of the neck. Um, but it's got these cute little puff sleeves. And I feel like if you just added a little apron to it, Alice in Wonderland, there you go. Um, and maybe a white crinoline or something. Um, but I think this is really, really cute. Um, it is actually a new with tags item. <laughs> I love that it says a return can only be accepted with this. Um, I'm definitely not going to be returning this. <laughs> I can't. Didn't buy it directly from them. So I got this one in a US 18, which is a UK 22. They are a UK brand, so sizing was a little interesting. Um, I just basically asked for measurements. Um, I'm usually in US 20 to an 18. Um, so that usually ends up being a UK 22 to a 20. It depends on the brand. Sometimes they run larger. UK sizes do tend to run larger than US sizes. Um, even though they say the equivalent, it all depends on the brand, of course. Um, but I really, really like this dress. There is a teeny bit of stretch, but not a whole lot. Um, I will go ahead and try it on for you. Um, I'm trying to find out if it has pockets. I'm not sure if it does, unfortunately. I'm a huge, huge pocket person. Um, if I can, I'll try this dress on with and without a petticoat. I would just hit my help self in the face. Um, but I really, really like this dress. It is super cute. It has a cute little zip in the back. Um, again, if it doesn't have pockets, you can always add pockets. Um, but yeah, I hope you see me trying this on with all of the love in the world for this dress. I, I really do think this is a cute little dress. So the next item that I have in the box is this item, which I am very, very excited about. I'm sorry if I haven't pointed it out before. Sorry if the lighting's a little off. It's getting dark, so I turned this lamp on over here. Usually I have better lighting. I apologize. Um, I am very, very excited about this. Um, it is sushi print. Um, if you know me, you know I love everything sushi. I love sushi so much. Um, I like most food from that region of the world. Sushi is one of my absolute favorite foods, especially sushi with roe on it, which it has. Um, I am so excited for this romper. Yes, it is a romper. I usually don't wear rompers or anything like that. Uh, usually I stick to the dress or a skirt or a pair of pants format. Um, but when I saw this cute little romper, I had to get it. Um, it has a little keyhole back here, um, and it is like a stretchy material, so there's no like zippers or anything. Um, it is in this mint color, which is absolutely gorgeous. Um, and I think the length should go down to about my knees. Um, it does have kind of a long crotch, so we'll see how that works. I'll probably have to wear shorts underneath it, um, because it gives kind of like a, like a dress look, but in romper form. Um, but it is this really, really silky fabric, um, and very stretchy. Um, I cannot wear, I cannot wait to wear this to go get sushi at my favorite sushi place with my best friend. Her birthday's coming up, so, itchy. My, uh, her birthday's coming up, so I cannot wait to take her to go get sushi on this. My only thought is I really like soy sauce, soy sauce, soy sauce. Um, and I'm slightly worried that I might stain this, um, but that's my problem because I I am an A1A, but you know. Um, but I got this in the same size. I got this in a US 18, UK 22. Um, I did hear that this runs a little big, uh, but it's got lots and lots of stretch. Um, so I have no worries that this is gonna fit and this is gonna be super comfortable, especially when I'm picking out on sushi. Um, I'm checking to see if it has pockets. Again, I am not finding them, unfortunately. Uh, but I am still very excited to get into this. I'm sure you will see me trying it on and I cannot wait to get into this. So I'm sure I am very excited and enthusiastic 
to get this onto my body, <laughs> but it is this very, very gorgeous silky material, so I can only believe that it is going to be super, super comfortable, especially for picking out and eating all you can eat if possible. I have that place near me that is all you can eat, good sushi, all you can eat. Not really all you can eat, but it's it's um it's not like a buffet style. It's ready made, so you just give the server your order and they make it for you immediately. Um, but it is like a base price for pretty much as much as you order, uh, which is good but bad for me because I didn't order too much. But you can pay to take a little bit of it home. So I am very excited to wear this. <laughs> um, I think that's kind of the end of the video. <laughs> Kevin is ready to go. Uh, we're gonna go grocery shopping. <laughs> But I love y'all so, so much. I will see you in the next one. And you have a spooky evening. Bye.